Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. The purpose here is to inspire your spirit and to fill you up with hope. Today's video is about the topic of transitioning into the afterlife. So why is it that it seems like people, like we hear about a lot of people dying in December before the beginning of the next year? Like at the ending of the year, why does it seem like we hear about a lot of people dying? Why is that? Or another question could be, why do people die around the holidays, you know? Assuming that we have choice, right? Because don't we have free will? Or don't we have this thing called free will where our mind is engaged in our human experience and our spirit is helping to coordinate and they're supposed to be working together. So why would people choose to die around a holiday? Why would people choose to wait until the end of the year to die? Why is that? Now, these are good questions, I think, and they're curious, aren't they? So let me tell you from my 14 plus years of experience working as a psychic and a medium, what I know about this topic, okay? So during the ending of a year, it is the ending of a cycle. So life moves in cycles. It's all circular. So timing is not linear when it comes to the spirit and energy. Energy is always circular and there's patterns in life. There's cycles in life. And just like that, your energy moves and flows in the same way. And so there's a patterning to things. So at the ending of a year, if you think about it from your perspective, even if you're really busy, like with the holidays, like getting ready for people to come over or shopping or whatever your traditions are, whatever your holiday routines are, or the ending of the year is a very busy time energetically. In fact, oftentimes people say, do you have the holiday spirit? And so that means that the energy is definitely at a level where it's heightened. And because of that, it's super easy to transition in between the worlds or in between the levels or the circles of life and between the circles or the levels of, re of I don't know how to describe this, realms, reality, dimensions maybe. Now that kind of sounds a little wonky, so let me try to re-explain that. It's easier to move between the levels of energy. Let's explain it that way. We don't want to get too weird for you because when Bridget does psychic talk and medium talk and talk about energy and stuff, I want to make it make sense to you and be realistic and use terms that you understand so it doesn't make you think that this is just a bunch of craziness because it's not. It's patterns, it's cycles, it's like life. Everything moves with a rhythm and that is energy, okay? So what happens is, is during the holiday spirit, times when the spirit of the holiday is, is uh, heightened, it's easier to flow in between. So it's easier to make a transition. It's not clunky, it's not hard. It's kind of like there's less turbulence. If you've flown in an airplane recently, you know, right? The pilot can climb or adjust altitude in order to be able to eliminate some of the bumpiness of the ride. Well, during that spirit at the end of the year, that holiday spirit or the ending of the year, there is less turbulence, so it's really easy to just slip right through. It's sort of like a doorway is opened or a gate, gate is opened and there's the opportunity to come in and it's easier. There's a lot less stress in the transition for spirit, okay? So for a human person that's dealt with a lot of stuff during their life, who's really connected to their human life and really connected to their family, it's super easier. It's, it's I feel like it's less intense and uh, less, they feel less guilty about leaving because they kind of slide right through this just kind of natural flow of energy that allows the spirit, the soul that is ready, the soul that is ready in the body to easily transition between the earth bound energy of the human body and the experience of the infinite afterlife and the eternal life of the spirit and the soul. So it's kind of easier to transition during this time, less turbulence, and more people have a connection or resonance to a faith in something greater than themselves, the energy of maybe it's the energy of love or hope. Those are the, those are the things that people refer to as the holiday spirit, regardless of what holidays you celebrate. At the ending of the year, there's a ton of holidays. You know, we've got 
Kwanzaa and Hanukkah and Christmas and New Year's and there's just so much going on that there is a heightened energy level. And because of that, people are more in tune with loving vibrational energy. People are much more giving, much more um, open to caring. Their capacity is, is being very, they're being very thoughtful, even if it's stressful. Okay, I give you that. I know, I totally get it. Stressful, <laughs> right? But it's also a time of connection. And again, this, the cycle of life, the ending of the year, December, is the last month of the calendar year that we use in our mind to track linear time in our human bodies. And so it's the last month of the year. So it's the cycle comes to a close. So it's a nice wrapping up or a summation. And so that's why. Uh, people do choose in alignment with their spirit and their soul if the timing is right for them to leave during this time because it is easier it's just less turbulence to do that for the person and the spirit that is choosing to leave now i recognize now my heart goes out to you if you've lost somebody during this time during the holidays it can be so difficult or around a special event day or a birthday or anniversary or something it can be really really painful and so please know that if you have experienced loss and you are grieving, that you're not alone, that the energy of the grace that it surrounds us during this time of year, the heightened caring capacity, the hopeful energy, the faith that life is eternal, completely eternal, and that we as spirit in human bodies, if we can acknowledge that, then we, we know that we are never disconnected from those we love. We are always connected. And I know that might be a little comfort, and my heart does go out to you if you are experiencing loss at this time. But please know that it is because that soul of that person, oh, their transition, even if the event that caused their transition, um, like an accident or something tragic or, or an illness or such, no matter what caused or who caused, who's at, at, at uh, I wanna say at fault, but that's not the right word, who's at choice for the transition of that soul, just know that the soul itself's transition was smooth, no turbulence on that flight, and that, so that for them, it was the best possible timing. For you, it might feel like horrible timing or completely wrong or unneeded or unnecessary, but for that soul, their choice was to experience that gentle glide from this life into the next. And during this time of year, it is a gentle, gentle transition. So I actually experienced this in my family myself about 10 years ago when my father-in-law passed away on New Year's Day. And so I do understand that around the holiday, having someone that is making that transition or you know could be making that transition soon or just made that transition, I know it really kind of changes things for you. It kind of can mess up your, your mental state and your emotional uh, energy is really kind of sometimes confused and you're sad, but you're, it's the holidays. And I mean, I understand that part of it, but that's why the grief process is definitely a process that's very personal and it is your own. And I would encourage you to make sure you're talking to someone get counseling to get um, to have someone that a professional that knows about that grief process and um, don't discount that that is definitely something that can be very helpful to you and to your family as well during this time so this is Bridget at above life channel I hope this video has given you some insight into why people transition why they die at the end of the year why is there like this big rush to get out you know why is that? I hope I've given some insight into that based upon just my experience as a psychic and medium over the past 14 years doing this kind of work and having these experiences um, myself personally and with clients just like you as well. I wish you a happy holiday season and a joyous new year regardless of where you're at on this journey. Remember, the purpose of your life is to live it and only you can do that. So get inspired, get your spirit inspired and feel the hope that is here for you right here and right now. This is Bridget at Above Life Channel. Thank you so much for watching.